Hey guys, it's Garon to speak with the stars and welcome back to my channel. So yes, I know I skipped the week last week, I didn't post any art videos. I have no excuse for that, it was because I bought a new gaming laptop. And I hope for now that you excuse my voice as well. I am sort of in the middle slash recovering from a cold or a cough, so my voice is super super clogged. I mean my nose is clogged, my throat is also feeling rather clogged, so I don't know if I'll be able to speak for the entire 14 minutes, but I will try. Okay, so the reason I didn't post a video last week, even though it's kind of not a new thing on my channel anymore, that I don't put that I don't post super regularly, is uh well, I bought a new gaming laptop. It's an Asus Puff gaming laptop in the model FX505-GM. It's pretty decent the price is pretty decent too um it's 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 really really great it's a, it's a really nice laptop i've been wanting and saving up up for a laptop ever since i got my job two years ago ish by now um my first order of business back then was to get a new washing machine which took me a year I, right after that i started saving up for this, this laptop i ended up having to pay it in credit card installments but I mean, I saved up a little bit just to pay it off. It's really brand new. It hasn't left the house since I bought it. I am not just gonna stay here at home for a while unless I need to bring it out. But it's my new baby. It's beautiful. I got it last week, which is why I didn't post any videos last week. Uh, I was just I took two vacation leaves off just to buy this and then to play with it. So it took me two days to set it up, more or less, to transfer all of my files. And then on the third and fourth day, I was installing like, my games and Sims 4, stuff like that. And then I went to work. And I also just ended up playing before, like throughout the entire week. So, I didn't make any art at all. Art was not in my brain at all. I wanted to do live streams, but I was just so, 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 so excited and happy and engrossed in playing with this laptop that. I, I couldn't think of anything to draw, and I didn't feel like drawing, and I didn't want to force it. So we ended up in this situation where um, it's a week again. It, I've been doing a video every other week, so what's new? Woo! <laughs> Okay, actually, the laptop that this thing replaced, it is a Toshiba P50PA. It is pretty decent. It was a laptop that was just a step below, at that time, the Toshiba gaming laptops. But the issue became was that someone spilled a drink all over the keyboard, so they had to open it up and have it repaired, which took them three months. Well, no, just three years old. It took them almost half a year to get the laptop back to me because they had ordered the parts from Japan and all of that. Unfortunately, when they gave the laptop back, it seems that it seemed that they didn't put it together correctly. So the hinge where it connects the screen and the main body was um it wasn't screwed on correctly, so that caused a huge crack in the middle of the screen, which was fine for a while, even though it really made me feel bad because the laptop was one year old and it was already looked super banged up and it had a crack across the screen. And um, yeah, so it had that crack, which is fine. I continu continued using it like usual. I bought it to school for my thesis back then. And then at one point, it just gave out. <laughs> like, half the screen wouldn't have any display. It was just a black, glitchy mess. So I bought um, an external monitor to use it with. And I think I screwed up at one point, uh, messing with the display stuff on it. Because the the laptop itself wouldn't show anything anymore when it did. I mean, it was showing white stuff for a long while, but if you angle it a certain way, it would still display something. But it, do, it didn't do that anymore, so I became desperate. I had the, I had some technician remove the display part of the laptop, making it effectively a desktop. And like a year or two after the keyboard started messing up, like some keys wouldn't press correctly, or if I do press it, it would double tap by itself. Like it was, it was being weird already. 
not to mention it could no longer run uh, Adobe products as using Adobe CC 2018 at work. So when I needed to work from home sometimes, I would send the files to myself via G Drive or something like that. So I guess I was forced to upgrade, or as I had to upgrade my Adobe series at home, which was CS6 at the time. It ran CS6 decently. It would stutter in Premiere sometimes. It had a little bit of difficulty with After Effects, but it was usable. But when I switched to CC, it was a hot mess. It couldn't. It took me like three, five minutes to load Photoshop. Um, just to save Premiere, it took such a long time. After Effects was a mess. I could barely use it. So. I felt like I needed a stronger laptop, and I didn't want to spend any more money on a laptop that I spent so much for, and I had to spend again for the repairs, only for it to conk out and become a desktop at two years old. So I bought this new beautiful baby <laughs> of mine. It's an Asus Tough Gaming laptop. I hope, knock on wood, here's the wood, here you go, knock on wood. It will stay pristine and would work well for at least five years. Like, give me five years to enjoy it. My old Toshiba laptop, like the really, really old one, took me five years. I gave it to my dad when I upgraded it for my design course. It's still alive. Uh, it can't run CC, but it can run CS6 somewhat. So, like, give me, like, don't, don't, don't let me down. I, I spent so much money for you. I bought you an installment. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> so you're not leaving the house for, another, for a couple of years. You know, like a couple of months. I'm not bringing out. You will stay safe here. Where hopefully the house will protect you. <laughs> right. So yes, I as you can feel it, I'm very in love with this laptop. It's pretty. It's plastic. It's not metal anymore. So it's not going to scratch. Unlike my old Toshiba laptop. It has a backlit keyboard. My old Toshiba laptop was white. Now it's a red backlit keyboard, so it's super gaming laptop feels. Um, it's an i7 CPU with okay, it's an i7 with an eighth gen GTX GeForce 1060 card. Uh, what else is important on this? It's 15.6. Um, Measurement. <laughs> it's fifteen point six across across the screen. Like it's it's a bit smaller than my Toshiba, but it's also really much much lighter. It was so nice and nice being being this at all in the mall. I was I was the one carrying it, and with the old Toshiba laptop, I had to give it over to my dad because it was so heavy in the box. With this one, I was just like carrying it normally as if it was just like some slightly heavy box, but. I like it. <laughs> I also carried it under my arm the other day. And I was comparing it to the MacBook. I don't know what model MacBook it was. I think it's a 2018 MacBook. I'm not really sure. It's, it's a big one. And it's what I use, use for work. And I noticed it's even lighter than the Mac. So okay, it, it won't be as light as the, uh, an Air or whatever Mac laptops there are. But... It's light and it's nice and I like it so much. <laughs> okay, enough gushing. <coughs> um, and my voice is starting to die a little bit. So, because I've been distracted, I haven't really had any time to conjure up any new ideas for an artwork. But I knew I did want to play with my cookies a little bit because the last time I played with them was in Feb when I did the Valentine's piece, which was super appropriate for it because the color said that I was gifted was a very pink purple cool tones uh, piece so it would fit the Valentine's theme a little bit but I wanted to use it for something else so I grabbed my markers took a good look at it and thought of what they could draw and I, I came up with sort of like a moon priestess or a goddess or princess I have a moon prince so let's say she's a moon or a galaxy goddess that represents a moon. I don't know. I just looked at the colors and I thought, hey, doing something galaxy-like-ish would might, might look pretty good with this. And I thought of wanting to do a purple hair that transitions to like this the, the lightest minty blue that there is in the pack. And I thought maybe she could have a purple 
a purple outfit, but when I was drawing it, or as I was coloring it, I thought it would blend too much with her hair. So I gave her a pink top instead, gave her purple leggings. She was supposed to be wearing shoes, but I have been committing to myself from my last video that I want to practice drawing feet a little bit more, so we have some feet and stockings there. Um, yeah, it was a pretty simple piece. It was, I just wanted to draw something galaxy-ish, and I wanted to do it with not watercolors, because I'm super... Like I, I do, I used to do galaxy and watercolors a lot, and I wanted to see how I could transfer that technique or that image over in a different medium. So it's a, it's an excuse to play with my it's an excuse to play with my water with my Copex rather. I'm a mess. I'm still sick a little bit. Ugh. But I really really like how this turned out. Um, the the blending is great. It's super super soft. Like if there's so much control when you use it. Um, yeah, I, I actually like this piece. It's really simple, and there's a lot of white space, but it's unique. I mean, I don't feel the need to always fill in the background with something. So something like this is also pretty nice to play with once in a while. Yeah, I'll let you guys. I'll leave you guys for some music now. My voice is tired, and I don't know how pleasant a stuffed, sick person sounds. So. Yeah, yeah, enjoy! <laughs> Okay, so we are jumping to the preview now. Uh, apologies, it was kind of dark when I did the preview already, but whatever. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking, liking this video or subscribing to my channel for similar content. I do fan art, um, anime, uh, watercolor, stuff like that. Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt as well. And I'll see you around. Hopefully not sick next time. <laughs>